Hello all and welcome to another Three Blind Bags. And we're up to season four, episode two of Three Blind Bags. But just in case you are new to it, here's how it works. Down here next to me is a box full of blind bag products. They are all different in them. No two are the same. What happens is, is I pull one out at random at a time without looking. And when I pull that one out at random, I'll have a good look at the pack, just examine it, see what's in it, what it's all about, and anything rare and uncommon available in it, and all that sort of jazz. And obviously after we've done that, we'll open the pack, examine the product that's inside it, have a bit of fun with it, perhaps take the mick out of it if it deserves it. Now what I must do as the episode progresses is line all three products up against the wall of Mega Drive games here until we have all three at the end of the episode and at the end of the episode i must pick a favorite from the three a champion of the episode and that champion of the episode will go forward towards an end of year video to crown the champion of champions for what will have been by then 2023 and three blind bags anyway with all that said and done let's have the right hand disappear into the box down here next to me we'll give it a nice shuffle and we shall quite a few in there at the moment we'll go for this one, which is the right way round for a change, it is Paw Patrol. Me and Paw Patrol seem to cross paths a lot in blind bag format. But we've got Paw Patrol, the movie, Toppies. Toppies is spelled the cool way with a Z at the end. And there we go, we've got three of the gang on the front. And because I come across so many Paw Patrol products, I know the name of a few of these by now. The one on the right there is sort of a construction building dog, and he's called Rubble, I believe. That's the main dog i think the the policeman dog he's called chase i believe and this one is the fire dog whose name eludes me or is his name quite simply doggy mcfire dog seems legit there we go uh who can we get anything also available just about everybody by the looks of it uh, oh that, that one i remember that one's name the pink one that one's called sky there we go i'm trying to get a bit closer the images are a bit blurry but basically we can get the whole gang Will it be one that I know the name of, or will I have to get inventive with the name? No, I didn't get inventive, that's what it's really called. Right, easy tear tab up here. Who are we going to get? And... I was, oh, we got, yes, there we go. We've got Chase. We've got one I know the name of, because I saw him on the front and got it right. And there's a, a hole in his gut, so you can jab a pencil in it. And I tell you what, uh, that's quite a uh, quite a weighty large pencil topper thingy i say that I as a pencil top i didn't expect it to be so big Giggity. and it's quite a nice thing actually it's well molded i'll give it that the paintwork on it's not too shabby it's also got little holes in all of his feet for some reason as well and for what it is that's not bad we've got a bit of paper with it what's on the bit of paper is that going to tell us oh that's just repeating what's on the back at least chuck some names in for us lads for us uneducated people Never mind. But we can get vehicles as well. By the looks of them, we've got a helicopter. There's Robin and his digger. And there's there's the, the police car that Chase rides in. And there's uh, Doggy McFire, Dog's fire truck. And yeah, I can't remember. I can't remember what the boy's name is. There he is in the middle. But that's not <laughs> that's not an awful thing. I believe it was only a quid as well. But uh, yeah, that's quite a nice thing. Put you in the wall there. I would say sit, but you're kind of moulded in that position, so that's not gonna not gonna happen, is it? Could at least look up at the camera, perhaps. No, you're gonna have to just stand there. Right, yeah, do your job as a guard dog. Right, let's dive into the box again, obviously. Um, we're gonna go a bit deeper into the box, giggity, and go for one of these smaller items that always seem to fall. There we go. There's a little cardboard box there. I'm intrigued. I need the cardboard box. Right, here we are. Boom! It's backwards, and oh, I can see Disney. I can see a lot of Disney there. That's Disney, isn't it? Disney. Wow, it says in the top right hand corner. Wow, stuff. <laughs> it said it all there. Wow, stuff. Right, uh, Disney Nanopods with some sort of easy tear tab there at the top. Now, I remember seeing these in a Sainsbury's and I nearly didn't buy one because look at the size of it. It is tiny. Uh, it's knocked over Chase the guard dog. Just in comparison, look, he's nearly as big as the box. And yeah, this, this, this was a five pound, so I nearly left it behind. But I look at the back and I saw a very thumb looking shaped Buzz Lightyear and I thought do you know what I've got to get this and try to get Buzz Lightyear and waste a fire I'm probably not getting him we've got quite a few on there there's Mickey top left I think that's Aladdin who looks a little bit girly we've got Dory and Nemo but how Nemo just looks like the fish that he is the, the breed of fish by the way is escaping me that's a, a young Simba there's Stitch there's Belle there's Olaf there's Sully there's Ariel the little mermaid and there is Blondie McPrincess, because I'm not quite sure who that is. It might be Sleeping Beauty, might, is it Aurora, whatever. But anyway, I'm hoping I get the thumb-looking 
Buzz Lightyear, because as a, as regular viewers of the channel know, I do love me some Toy Story. But anyway, let's get it open and get it in. And oh, by the way, the, obviously, the the appeal of these is to collect them all and then you can link them together in little pods. So do they, do, do they come sort of moulded in the pod? Or do you get your little pod and then you kind of have to rest them in there? Let's have a look. Come on, Buzz. Is it going to be Buzz? I'll be buzzing if it's Buzz. Nope, it's Ariel the Little Mermaid. So is it fixed in there? Oh, it is fixed in there indeed. Little cutesified version of her, naturally. And lost for oh, there's a bit of hope in there. Okay, I was say, lost for words a little bit. All oh, right, okay. So was it Sleeping Beauty? At least, at least, look, Paw Patrol. You can learn from this. It actually tells us who they are, just in case we don't know. Oh, it was Mulan. It wasn't Aladdin. Oh dear. Right, that's how clear that was. We've got Stitch, Ariel, Dory, Nemo, Sully. Oh no, it was Rapunzel. There we go. Well, look, there's a QR code. You can scan that if you really want. I have no idea what it does. There we go. Hope I've held it there for you long enough. I've been really annoying and kept moving it for you. But yeah, obviously we've got Ariel. I knew it was Ariel. And do you know what? I'm, I don't know what to make of that. I mean, it's not horrendously moulded or painted. But I, I'm not overly keen on it, to be honest with you. Not really overly keen. Hmm. Thoughts. Thoughts. What do you think of it, people? Let me know in the comment section below. Do you like it? I don't know. I don't know. Mmm. That's, uh... If you'd have said a bit of Disney up against Paw Patrol, I would have kind of edged my bets towards that being the winner, but I'm not actually sure at the moment. Can can whatever's coming out now come in and take it? Box is sliding away from me. Right, come back, come back. Right, there we go. Uh, right... Uh, you know, there's so many big blind bags in, I can't really avoid one. So go on, what are you? What are you? What are you? You are bloody huge, whatever you are. Poppy Playtime, collect them all. Uh, that's not the front. That is the front. I have no idea what Poppy Playtime is. I do believe it is a video game. Apparently, we again, they all, they all want us to collect them all. Uh, six plus, that's a bit of a random age, isn't it? A bit random. You have to be older than six. It's got some sort of horror theme going to it by the looks of it. Almost looks like Evil Toy Story come to life. Again, I don't, don't know what it is. Don't know what it is. I need to look into it. Because some of these characters are quite interesting. I say that. that That's obviously... I think that's the main character, Poppy Playtime. is kind of still looking evil, but not as not meant to be evil in comparison to this dude here, who's completely kind of werewolfed up. And then we've got this character here with a red and a blue hand. Creepy doll. It's always a creepy doll. Creepy dog that clashes the symbols. For some reason, the Toy Story... Monkey in the third film has popped into my head when I've seen that for some reason. Uh, and that's obviously a very feminine version of the one above. Although it looks like it's taken that body and that mouth and put it on that pink body. It's supposed to be fe uh, the, a female version, I guess. And then we got... I don't know what that is. And then we've got three black figures with, with, with white question marks on them. What the hell is that? That looks like Wally. Have we got some sort of evil, demented Wally? You know, the little robot, Disney, again, Disney Pixar. Right, let's open this up. And um, do you know what? Even though I don't know what it is, I'm hopeful, mainly because of the size of the package, that it's uh, going to be quality. It's going to be quality. It comes in its, comes in its own plastic bottle. Oh, no. Oh, no, we've got to get this open now. But because I am a professional amateur, I do have scissors and a knife on standby. Oh, it's got, no, it's got a hinge at the top, so it should open up the bottom just like that. There we go. Such a professional amateur that I didn't realise that I didn't need scissors. I haven't played the game. I haven't played the game. I don't really know what it is, but that is nice. That is quite... I tell you, I, do you know what? I know for a fact this was also a fiver, but from B&M. Fiver, fiver. Which one is better out of the two £5 ones? Because I think, I'm looking at it now, that is a beautiful mould. That is painted very, very well. I'm totally intrigued by this as well, so I need to find out more what it is. And it's a video game, I need to play it. Look at the detailing on that. Look at the paint of the teeth. It's not over, sort of overrun, it's not out of line or, or anything. I really like that, even though I don't know what it is. The character has me intrigued, and I now need to play the game. So I, I honestly think that straight away, I can tell you, this is going to be an easy pick for winner of the episode for me anyway if you should disagree and you do like the aerial nanopod then say so in the comment section below because the interaction between me and you is what youtube's all about to stole a life from generation pixel hi Stu, if you're watching but there we go ladies and gentlemen there is your winner for season four episode two of three blind bags it's this poppy playtime adventure
figure. Did I just add the word adventure in, even that wasn't there? Need the pack back. Boom. Yeah, I don't know why I just added the word adventure in. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, hit the thumbs up. YouTube loves it when you do that, and so do I. I really do appreciate it. It'll help push the video out and all that sort of YouTube crap. Anyway, if you do like blind bag products, I do plenty of it. Blind bag stuff, mystery box stuff on the channel. So do consider subscribing if you're not already. If you do subscribe and you're not subscribed, I will love you for it. I do love all my current subscribers already. But ladies and gentlemen, just leave me to say thank you very much for watching. And as always, please do take care.